Okay, we're looking at two sequences here. We've been asked to give the next two terms in these sequences. So we're going to look at this one first. 4, 7, 10, 13. Now the first thing to do is to look at the difference between each term in the sequence. And what do we add on to 4 to get to 7? Then we add the same amount on to get to 10, the same amount on to get to 13. And that is plus 3. So if we carry that sequence on, plus 3. Carry that sequence on, plus three. And again, we're gonna to get to whatever the next one is, plus three. So 13 add three is gonna give me 16. And then I'm gonna add another three, and I'm gonna get 19 there. Okay, and that's that one done, the next two terms in the sequence. Right, we've done that one, so we'll just draw a line between them. And we come on to the next one. A little bit trickier, this one, because it's going down. All right, so what have I got to take away this time to get from 80 to 75, 75 to 70, 70 to 65? So what do I take away each time? I take away five, take away five, carry on the sequence. It's the same amount each time in this case. Take away five, so I'm gonna be taking away five there to get whatever's there. And 65 take away five, 60. 60 take away five, 55. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.